The following program has been sponsored by generous friends and partners of Fred Jordan Missions. Sometimes it takes history a long time to reveal where you get your strength. Welcome to FJM TV. I'm Joe Jordan with Fred Jordan Missions. And you know, there's not a better place in my mind than being on the roof here at Fred Jordan Mission. As you look behind me, you see the city of angels. Yes, that's Los Angeles, a great city that has been here for hundreds of years. And this building has been here about a hundred years because Fred Jordan Mission has been serving those in need in Jesus name for nearly that amount of time. And you know, today as I share from the rooftop, I wanna share with you, our viewers, something that we all struggle with, a troubled heart. Today, my question to you is, do you have a troubled heart? Do you have a spouse with a troubled heart? Do you have a child with a troubled heart? Or maybe you're past it, but you had a troubled heart. You know, a troubled heart can be one that comes and goes. In fact, throughout our life, I don't think any of us are immune to a troubled heart, something that stresses us, something that hurts us, something that comes against us, something that isn't good because it's troubled. You know, I wanted to share from God's word today from John 14, one, what Jesus says. Jesus says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Simple, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. That's what Jesus said. It's so important. And the good news there, the good news there is that Jesus and God himself are there to take us through troubled times and get rid of those troubled hearts. God's love, his peace, it's not contingent upon what happens in this world or what comes at us or whatever. Jesus has made it clear that we should trust in him and also in God and don't be troubled. The word of God also says that even though we'll go through trials and tribulations and storms and all the troubles of life, that God is with us. His love will be there with us. His Holy Spirit will be with us through it all. We can count on that and be certain of that. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever and in this ever radically changing world and city and place that we live, wherever that may be for you, we can count and trust that God will be there in all of our times, good, bad, and different, and especially in those troubled times. We don't have to hold on to pain and fear, sorrow, insecurities. We don't have to hold on to all of those things that grip us and hold us and keep us back and keep us in a constant state of being troubled in our heart because we can find peace, peace through Jesus Christ. In John 14, 27, it says this, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. I do not give it to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. That's straight from God's word. I want that to encourage you. It encourages me. Every time I'm troubled, I can look to God's word. I can trust in God's word and his promises to comfort me, 
to deliver me, to sustain me or keep me or take me through those troubled times so I can have victory over them. And as the word says right here, I don't give as the world gives. No, God doesn't give like the world gives. He doesn't do things to stir us up, to take our focus off him. He doesn't do things to trouble our hearts. No, he does things to bring us comfort and peace and joy as only he can. He takes us through those troubled times. And as it says, do not let your hearts be troubled and also do not be afraid. There's no reason to be afraid. I've shared this with you many times. I'm sure I'll share it many more. It's one that I think of all the time from God's word where it says, fear not for I am with you. And I'm not talking about Joe being with you or your pastor being with you or someone else to comfort you. No, the Lord Jesus Christ is with you. God is with you. His Holy Spirit is with you for those of us who know, who believe, and who have placed their trust and faith in him, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of their sins. We can always count on knowing that Jesus is with us. God's word gives us an answer for everything and especially a troubled heart. And I wanna share this with you. If you believe and trust in Jesus to take you through it all, perfect peace comes from that relationship with Jesus. It can calm every storm, every circumstance you're in, every situation that you face. He will give you the courage and the strength to face no matter what you face with him on your side. You can always count on God. You can always count on Jesus. But you know, we have a part to play. We must allow God to work in our life. We must allow God to bring peace in the stormy waters. We must allow God to take that troubled heart and to work us through it, to get through it. You know, sometimes there's things that we have to learn when we're in troubled waters. Sometimes there's things that we have to grow from when we're having trouble in our lives so that we can become more like Jesus. The thing that I love most about Jesus, aside from dying for my sins, giving me eternal life, I know I'm going to heaven. If I don't even make it you know, home tonight, I know I'll be with Jesus. And all those things are awesome. And I love it so much. And I'm so grateful in my heart. But the one thing that just gives me so much peace is no matter what I face, no matter what the devil, the enemy, this world, or anybody tries to harm me with, no matter what tries to distract me or hurt me or harm me or my family, Jesus is always with me. Jesus is always there. I can count on Jesus no matter what I face in this life. And for me, when I'm troubled, when I'm hurt, when someone's hurt me, when a situation is overwhelming and I just don't know what to do, I can always call upon the name of the Lord, Jesus Christ, and he will help me through it. He will take me through it because the word of God says that perfect love cast out all fear. God is perfect love. The Bible also says that the peace that passes all understanding comes from God. And sometime, you guys, we just need that perfect peace. When we don't have peace in our hearts, you know what I mean. You might not be going through anything right now. I'm actually in a really good place right this minute and today and this week. But you know, a week or a month ago, I was probably in some troubled waters. It doesn't mean you're on drugs or alcohol or you're running from God. There's just things that hurt and harm us or try to come against us regularly. That's this world we live in. It's a fallen and broken world, a sinful world. But no matter what, whether you're struggling today or you struggled yesterday, or maybe the trouble will come tomorrow, just know that you know, that you know from God's word and his promises that he is there for you and for me. 
through it all. And he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. And that's just a certainty that I have that I'm so grateful for. God's got an answer for every troubled heart I'll ever have. And if I just believe in Jesus, trust in Jesus to take me through it, that perfect peace will come from him every time and he will take me through it. Doesn't matter the circumstance, the situation, or how long it lasts, he will take me through it. Stay tuned and I'll share the rest of this, how to get through those times of having a troubled heart. Life is busy. It is easy for the little things in our everyday routines to get lost in the shuffle, even when everything is going good. There are still things that get overlooked. At Fred Jordan Mission, we strive to help those we serve on Skid Row with the little things, such as having access to a bottle or even just a cup of clean water when they're thirsty. How about a cup of coffee and a donut just to get your day going? Or taking for granted having shelter from the weather, hot in the summer, cold in the winter. Did you know a high percentage of those here on Skid Row who we call homeless are not drug addicts or alcoholics or even mentally unstable? No, they are fellow Americans who maybe a few months ago were paycheck to paycheck from eviction or recently laid off from their job or just down and out on their luck. Your act of kindness through prayer, through your financial gifts today, help those who come through our doors for socks, toothbrush, soap, a lunchtime snack, and yes, even water. So let this be a reminder to be thankful for the little things. Join the conversation by connecting with us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. Visit us at social.fjm.org. Welcome back to FJM TV. As I was sharing just a minute ago, when our lives are filled with those troubled times, trust in Jesus and he can bring the peace that passes all understanding. In John 14, two, Jesus says this. He says, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and also in me. In my father's house, there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go there and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you with me there so that you may also be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. It's so awesome to know that Jesus sharing with his disciples in John 14 too, that he was letting them know that, that just trust in God and also in me. And then he talks about in his father's house in heaven, that, that there are many rooms and there's a place for you, for me. But he was talking to his disciples, but it's for us too. He went to prepare a place for us and for the disciples to go one day and spend eternity in heaven with the Lord Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins, with God, our creator, the creator of the universe. And it says, I will come back and take you with me there so you may be where I am. Jesus is in heaven right now, the word of God says, at the right hand of God the Father. But one day he'll come back and take us, the church, the believers, those who have trusted in him. Or like my dad, well, he got to go home early. That might happen for some of us that are even viewing and watching today, maybe even me before Jesus comes back and takes us all with them, We may die of old age or an accident or who knows, things happen. But we can always count on and trust that if we're absent from this body or your body and we know Jesus, we will be present with the Lord in heaven. That's a promise that we will be with Jesus. We won't be floating somewhere. We won't be under the ground and then picked up out of the dirt. No, if we're not here, and we know Jesus, we will be with Jesus in heaven. But it's so awesome to know that he's preparing a place for us in heaven. Then after he says, you know the place where I am going, he says that to the disciples, right? And then in verse five, Thomas says this, and it's funny, I have a brother, Tom, Thomas, but 
This is why in the Word of God, you hear sometimes doubting Thomas, because Thomas was kind of a doubter at times. He didn't really get it. So Thomas says this to Jesus, Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? And after Thomas said that, because Jesus is such a good savior, such a great Lord and master, and he, he, he just said this, he didn't like put him down or say, you're a knucklehead. He said this, he said in verse six, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus told the whole story right there. There's only one way to heaven, there's only one way to God, and that's through Jesus and what he did when he died on the cross for our sins. The Bible says Jesus came to this earth to be born, to grow up, and hang on a cross and die. That's why we celebrate Good Friday when we get around Easter time every year. Good Friday is the day that Jesus gave his life and died on the cross. And then, of course, the reason why we celebrate Easter every year is because on Easter, he rose from the dead and he's alive today so that he could give us life. He paid the price for our sins, for yours and mine, so that we could have life. And so he told Thomas, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And no one's going to come to the Father and get to heaven except through me. That's the way to heaven. And the gospel message of the cross and what Jesus did on it, it's simple. All we have to do is believe and receive, the Bible says. This is one of the simplest yet most important passages in all of the Bible. How can we know God? The Bible tells us clearly only through Jesus Christ and having that personal relationship with him and the forgiveness of our sins only through Jesus. By uniting our life with Jesus's life, we're united with God. Trust Jesus and what he did on the cross for you and for me, and you can have eternal life. It's very simple. If you wanna to go to heaven, all we have to do is just acknowledge that we're sinners and that we need a savior. And Jesus died on the cross to be the savior of the world. And he'll forgive you of your sins. He'll wash you white as snow, the Bible says, and you will have eternal life. Don't be troubled because Jesus is with you. But Jesus also shared with his disciples during this time, two troubling facts. Two troubling facts that I'm sure were troubling for the disciples, especially two of them. He said, I will be betrayed and I will be denied. And think about it, if you were Jesus' followers, the disciples like, yeah, we're on your side, Lord. Yeah, we love you. Yes, you're the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You're the Messiah. We believe you. And then Jesus says, yeah, well, one of you is gonna betray me and one of you is going to deny me. How would you feel, especially if you were the one that was gonna betray him or deny him? And so it goes on to where Jesus said that not only is he gonna be betrayed and denied, but then the word of God says how Judas betrayed him and how Peter denied him. So sad, but you know what? We all make mistakes, we all miss the mark, we all mess up, and that's why grace, God's grace is so important. Jesus' answer for a troubled heart is to trust in Jesus and what he did on the cross. Don't be troubled, let Jesus take you through it all. As the apostles must have felt when they heard that disturbing news, afraid, fearful, is it me, Lord? I'm not gonna, I won't deny you, I won't put you down, I, I, I won't disobey you, I won't deny you, I, I won't you know, do bad things, but they must have been disturbed by all of that. But Jesus' answer again for a troubled heart is just to trust him and let him take you through it all. You know, for the two that betrayed and denied him, it was rough. But we know that Jesus' grace 
is sufficient to take us through anything, even if we've turned our back on God at some point in our life. And for me, I remember, and I've shared this story, and if you're new viewing, you might not know it, but I share the story of accepting Jesus at eight, really loving Jesus and accepting his forgiveness for my sins. Even at eight, I knew as a sinner. But then through my teens and through high school and into college even a little bit, I did my own thing. I ran, I partied, I tried to escape God and his calling. I, I, I didn't turn my back on God because I always knew God was real and Jesus was the savior of the world. I didn't deny him, but I definitely didn't follow him. And I lived in a lot of guilt and a lot of shame. And if that's you today, just know that God's grace is bigger than your failures. God's grace is bigger than your faults. And God's grace is bigger than everything you fall short in because God loves you and his grace can cover you if you trust him. Don't let your troubled heart be troubled any longer. Look to Jesus. Remember what he said when he said, in my father's house, heaven. Jesus said he's preparing a place for us to go to be with him where we'll spend eternity, a permanent home, a permanent place with no more lying, cheating, stealing, drugs, alcohol, homelessness, hurting, heartache, betrayal. There will be no more of any of this, no more weeping, no more crying. It will be a perfect place, paradise, with God our Creator, Jesus our Savior, and the Holy Spirit. I don't know about you, but I look forward to heaven. But until I go to heaven, I'm gonna keep sharing the hope of the world, Jesus, because I want you and everyone I meet to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, not to join FJM, because we're not a church or something to join, not to give a gift, because you don't have a give a gift to watch, to view, to be a part of our ministry. I just share Jesus because I love Jesus and what he did for me. And I want you to know him and what he can do for you. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, remember what Jesus did, and always know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one, not one, is gonna get to heaven or get to God except through Jesus. If you ever visit the streets of Skid Row in Los Angeles, you will see ragged tents, compromised easy ups, which is someone's home. If you walk down the streets of Skid Row, you'll pass dirty blankets or old newspapers lying on top of broken wooden pallets, which is someone's bed. If you come to the corner of Fifth and Town, you will see people lined up to join Team Jesus for a hot meal in our dining room or a time of song and worship in our chapel. What you also see at Fred Jordan Mission is smiles and hugs and hear wonderful stories of love and care. Serving those on Skid Row for 80 years, feeding millions of meals, caring for the saint and the sinner by declaring the goodness of God through love and action. Please continue to give right now while it's fresh on your heart. Pick up your phone or your tablet, go to your computer and type fjm.org. It is there you can give a generous gift to help us continue what we have been doing for 80 years. Well, thanks for joining FJM TV today. It's been just an honor and a privilege as it always is sharing with you about a troubled heart. If you have a troubled heart, I just ask you to do a few things. One, go to Jesus, of course. But the second thing, we care about you, our viewers, those partners, those who watch the show, whether you've never watched before or not, maybe this is the first time, but I want you to know I care about you and our ministry cares about you. We're here on this earth. We are placed here at Fred Jordan Mission to serve those in need. And it doesn't mean they have to be homeless or hungry or helpless drugs, alcohol, no, it could be anyone that needs Jesus, anyone who has a troubled heart. Will you write us today, call us, email us, go to fjm.org, reach out on one of our social media platforms, go to mine at Joe Jordan on any of the Instagram, Facebook, and just say, hey, Joe, I need prayer. Hey, FJM, I'm struggling. And let us pray for whatever is troubling your heart. 
Yes, we love the homeless and the hungry and the hurting here on Skid Row, just six floors below me. There's the largest homeless population in our country and we serve them every single day. We declare and we demonstrate the love of Jesus. We declare by sharing with them that Jesus loves them. There's a God in heaven that loves them and he sent his son Jesus to die for them. And we demonstrate his love by meeting their needs. Whether they're hungry and we feed them a hot meal, whether they're thirsty and we give them a bottle of water, whether they need a jacket or a coat, whatever they need, we demonstrate God's love as well. It's not enough to just say Jesus loves you and forget about their situation. No, we share Jesus loves you and Jesus cares about your situation. He cares about your situation as well. But you know, it's gonna be getting hot soon. California in the summer is an awesome place, but not everybody has the luxury of being up in the mountains or at the beach hanging out. For those who live on Skid Row, it gets hot. Not just lonely, but hot and lonely. And so we want to be here to serve them, but we need you because together we can serve Jesus by serving our guests here at Fred Jordan Missions and see their lives changed for eternity with accepting Jesus, but then see their lives change every day by meeting their needs and helping them out of their struggles. God bless you. Join the conversation by connecting with us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. Visit us at social.fjm.org. Join us in feeding hungry children and their families by phoning today, 844-FJM-FOOD, or donating online, fjm.org. That's fjm.org. Or mail your check to Fred Jordan Mission, P.O. Box 12345, Covina, California, 91722. Please, will you help? The preceding program was sponsored by generous friends and partners of Fred Jordan Missions.